Uh, good morning everyone. Nate with Premier Landscape Services here. Uh, I'm going to just give you a quick little rundown on how to build a manifold for an irrigation system uh, with a solenoid valve. Something that's going to last you a long time and be very, very foolproof for uh, breaks in the future. Uh, this will, what we're going to do demo today is we're going to demo something that is, uh, this will be for a new install. Now if you were putting this, if you're replacing something, it's going to be a little more complex than this, but this will be uh, something that you can put together really quick if if you're doing it new for the first time. Um, what we're using is we're using a Rainbird 100 DVF valve. Um, the DVF has the flow control on them. Uh, you don't necessarily need that all the time, but I put them in anyway just because it's nice to to be able to control the flow without a separate pressure regulator or um, if you're running a drip system or if you have high pressure in an area and you only want to run uh, about 80 about 50 pounds through your pre through your line. Um, so it's a one inch valve. Um, these are dura parts for each uh, valve you're going to need. You're going to need a T here. You're going to need two of these nipples and and one of these um, slip to female connector pieces here. Um, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind: everything on this system is all O-ring sealed. So when you're buying your parts from your plumbing store, you want to make sure you have your O-rings in here. They're kind of hard to see. They're just small. Everything will have an, an O-ring. And um, when I put them together, I just they're they're supposed to be hand tightened, but sometimes you can't get them quite tight enough. So I like to just maybe torque them just a tiny bit with a wrench. You don't need too much on them. If you get too much, uh, they can cause problems and leak. When you're putting your valve together, you want to make sure that you have your O-ring here on your nipple that goes towards the valve. That's going to prevent. That's going to seal that nip that uh, connection to your valve there. Okay, once your valves are once you got all your valves together, um, you're going to put together your your manifold here. I've got a glue side. This will be one inch, so that'll be the your line coming in. If you have a, th a three quarter inch line, which most people don't, um, then you may have to bush that down a little bit before you come in. But hopefully you don't, because once you start Changing all of that, you're going to lose your, um, you're going to lose a little, you're going to lose flow in your valves. And you won't get as much volume to, so you can't get good coverage. So I'm just going to quickly throw these together. You know, they're all hand tightened. Again, make sure you have all your O-rings. This side, you notice, um, it's threaded on this side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put together, I'm just going to put one of these um, female slip connectors on this end. Uh, what that does is you can that allows the flow to go through your valves and it can go out to another valve box or it can go up into a let's say you want to connect a hose bib or or something that you can connect in the winter time to blow some air out of it uh, really good to do um, so make sure they're all they're all lined up get all your valves put together and then we'll start assembling the manifold I'll do that really quick off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, what you want, what you want to keep in mind and pay attention, special attention to is the flow on the valve. There's a direction for the for the valve. If you put them in backwards, they're not going to work right. You have some problems with them. You're going to have to take it apart and put it back together. And uh, believe me, you don't want to do that. <laughs> um, this manifold system is pretty slick. Um, it eliminates having to replace every single valve if you have a break somewhere. Um, I recommend um, making sure you always have a place for it to drain out to. You can put those in. Um, we can do that in a different video on how to do that. Um, but make sure your flows are going correctly. On this side we've got a one inch outlet so you're not restricting the flow. Once you get to here then you you know you can you can change what you want to do. You can bush it down to a three quarter inch pipe, so on so on so forth. Just depending on the velocity that you need for your 
sprinkler system. Uh, that's pretty. That's pretty quick, you know. Um, one thing you want to keep in mind. Another thing you want to keep in mind is when you're putting this together, make sure you put it together on a nice flat surface. These are very sensitive. Um, before, if you they're not, if there's any any pressure or anything on these joints, they can leak just a little bit. So get it get it put together, tighten down on a nice flat surface, and then when you get ready to set in your valve box, make sure that you have a good rock bed underneath it so that way if you ever have any water in there the water is going in the rock and you're not getting mud and dirt covering your valves that can really um, affect the valve over time on how it operates so again this is a tutorial on in putting together a manifold for a new in a new system um, they're they're really slick um, this manifold system here you know just given the Given the new construction, uh, this this might cost you around hundred hundred and twenty five dollars to do. Um, if you if you glue it with with fittings, you may be, you know, you might be half of that. So um, it's really good in, for preventative maintenance <laughs> down the road. Um, getting getting the wiring together, I'm I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. You, we can do that later. But uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave in comments and we can certainly put together another video or we can just, um, yep, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and happy irrigating or watering, whatever you want to call it.